Hi, welcome back. On this video, we will learn how to use array functions. Just like string functions, array functions are very useful and they are predefined by PHP. Now, you can you can make your own array functions, but that would be up to you. It would be actually a lot more work than coming here and finding an array function that would suit your needs. I think it's very possible that you will find any type of fun array function here already predefined for you to use. All right, so let's go ahead and make one and I'm just going to make an array first of all because we're going to be using a, an array function. Let's just set it to some variables. Let's just use the new uh, a, uh, language, right? So new PHP instead of the array old parentheses there. And I'm going to I just put some values there and I'm just going to use the echo just to echo some of the uh, values for the function. So what I want to do is echo the mats and I'm going to use this function called mats. This is for a for an array. So if I click here I should see the result right here. Alright, 453 that is the mats value right here. Now keep in mind now that I am if, if for some reason this is in the, your exercise in course exercise files. It's going to be 28 underscore array now I started numbering this so that way you can know exactly where you are. Now you can, if you are, if you have your own folder, make a file called from blank.php. Make a file called array underscore functions.php. Okay, so do that. Let me show you another one real quick, and then we're gonna go over on the website and show you where they are. So I'm just gonna do a space here, and I'm gonna do an, another echo here. And this one is the opposite of mats, minimum. See, that is the minimum value right here, 23. Let's do another one. This one is actually very useful. And we will uh, be always using the, a function like this. It's going to be something like print r. Oh, it's going to be print r. And you can see the whole array right there with all the uh, keys and values in there. But we're going to do something before that. You see that? before before we actually echo it out. You see that they are different numbers and different values. You got the small ones here and I mean this is disorganized. We're gonna sort this in order. I'm gonna use a function called sort. So we can do something like this sort very small function, right? Look at that. Now we sort everything out here. We started with the lowest number, going to the largest. All right. Now, those these predefined functions are really super use, useful. You don't understand how much time they save us when we are developing. So, if you go to the website on php.net um, forward slash manual forward slash en ref forward slash ref dot array, then you can find all of them here. Another way of looking for this is if you go to Google and just type in. If you don't want to, just go ahead and type all this. I uh, go in and type in PHP array functions ref R E F and you will find the rest of them. You will find this page, alright? If you click on it, you will find options here. I mean you will find examples and how to use them better. Alright? So anyway, thank you so much for watching this and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Take care.